Americans to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Iwana flag, which stands for the Iwana Clubs, whose goal is to reach boys and girls with the gospel of Christ and to train them to serve Him. All right, so today we're going to learn about Moses and the Red Sea. Have you guys ever heard that story before? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. You know what happened? It's boring, Dad. It's boring? What yeah. happened? What happened? Um, I know I did it, but it was a long time ago. So I can see what happened. <laughs> what happened, Ellie? Well, wait, are we doing... Moses and the Red Sea. Okay. What happened? So, Moses was leading all the Israelites... And part of the Red Sea with his staff. Did he do it or did God do it? God. Okay, okay she's teaching a lot. We're going to make her teach a lot. <laughs> so we're going to read through it first and then I'm we'll talk about it. But we got this, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> then the Lord said to Moses, Tell the Israelites to turn back and encamp between. Migdol and the sea. They are to encamp by the sea. Pharaoh will think the Israelites are wandering around the land in confusion, hemmed in by the desert. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and he will pursue them. But I will gain glory for myself through Pharaoh and all his army. And the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. So the Israelites did this. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his officials changed their minds about them and said, What have we done? We have let the Israelites go and have lost their services. So he had his chariot made ready and took his army with him. He took 600 of the best chariots along with all the other chariots of Egypt. The Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, so that he pursued the Israelites. The Egyptians, all of Pharaoh's horses and chariots, horsemen and troops, pursued the Israelites and overtook them. As Pharaoh approached the Israelites, looked up and there. Oh, hold on. As Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up and there were Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, Leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians? It would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. Need only to be still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that Israelites can go through. I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so they will follow. And I will... And I will gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army, through his chariots and his horsemen. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I gain glory through Pharaoh. Then the angel of, the God, of God, who had been traveling in front of Israel's army, withdrew and went behind them. The pillar of cloud also moved from in front and stood between them, coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel. Throughout the night, the cloud brought darkness to the one side and light to the other side, so neither went near the other all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove the sea back with a strong wind and turned it into dry land. And the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued them in all Pharaoh's horses, and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea. During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and, cut and cloud at the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. 
He jammed the wheels of their chariots so that they had difficulty driving. And the Egyptians said, Let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may flow back over the Egyptians and their chariots and horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at daybreak the sea went back to its place. The Egyptians were fleeing towards it, and the Lord swept them into the sea. The water flowed back and covered the chariots and horsemen, the entire army of Pharaoh, that had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not one of them survived. But the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with a wall of water on the right and on their left. That day the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians on the shore. And when the Israelites saw the mighty hand of the Lord displayed against the Egyptians, the people feared the Lord and put their trust in him and in Moses his servant. Sorry, that was really long. Thank you for being so quiet, guys. So this story took place after Pharaoh decided to let the Israelites go. Do you remember those stories? Yes. Mm-hmm. He kept Moses kept going back to Pharaoh and saying, "Let my people go," right? Mm-hmm. And Mo- and Pharaoh kept saying, "No." And then bad things kept happening, right? So he decided to let them go. And then what did he do? Do you remember? He changed his mind, right? He still wanted them to the Israelites to work for them. Okay, the Israelites camped next to the Red Sea, and when they knew that the that Pharaoh and his men were coming, what did they do? Do you remember? Did they yell? Did they complain and say? Oh, they're coming for us. We're all going to die. Yeah. Exactly what they did. And they did that because they didn't know God's plan. They were camped next to a big body of water and they couldn't get over it. And they were scared because they thought they were going to die. But God had a bigger plan. Because he, he's a God of miracles. He's also a God of love. Okay. Um, and we can't grasp how wide and long and high and deep the love of Christ really is. Right? He loves us so much. Right? We have no idea. And that's why in the story he helped the Israelites. Because he loved them so much. He didn't want anything to happen to them. Yeah. So God is a God of miracles and he can do Anything, even if we think it's impossible. Do you remember who Moses said would fight their battles? Ellie. (laughs) Yeah? And he fights our battles, too. Not just for the Israelites. Because he loves us, he will fight all of our battles for us. And how did the attitude of the Israelites change at the end of the story after they were saved and they saw a big miracle? Remember? Did they trust God then? Were they thankful for what he did? Yeah? Yes! (laughs) And God is also a God who protects us. He protects his people like he protected the Israelites. Um, He stopped an enemy from doing harm to them in a crazy way. None of the Israelites could have thought that of. Right? God is a God of miracles, and his power and might sustains us every day. Um, God's power is revealed in so many ways. No one but God could part a sea. God also does many powerful things for us every day. He brings the sun up in the morning. He showers the earth with rain and makes the trees grow. He even created gravity to keep us from accidentally flying into outer space. That would be scary. This week, everyone should spend time in prayer thanking God for his mighty power. 
Okay, we're going to pray that you guys can trust in God and believe in his power and that you can see his miracles every day just by the sun coming. Hey Father, I just thank you for this day, Lord. I just thank you for all these kids in this room. I just pray that they will become warriors for you. Um, even the kids watching this video, Lord, I just pray that you will just bless them in so many ways and let your love be so overwhelming to them, Lord. I just pray for you and thank you for all that you do for us and Lord. Amen.